Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Um, today, I'm going to be removing the uh, <laughs> peel off polishes. I had a mind blank. Sorry about that. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to give y'all an update and show you this is my tipware. Pretty um, minimal, actually. And I did wear this uh, for a total of nine days. Could not stand to wear it anymore. I need some different nail art on my nail. I painted them and thought I was going to be all brave and do a wear test until the stuff just started really getting janky. And um, I just couldn't, I couldn't hold out anymore. So I put Northern Lights on it one day. You know, kind of give it some difference so that I could stand to wear it longer. And I did the, you know, 3D nail art one day. Try to, you know trying to encourage me to wear it longer so I've decided I just can't take it anymore I need something else on my nails so this stuff is long-lasting it's really really good I mean look at that just barely tip wear on them and I work with my hands so that's saying something took showers wash some pots and pans now I don't wash dishes by hand um, but I do wash my big pots and pans and stuff. So I just decided I would go ahead and share with y'all the removal of this. Uh, I have not oiled my hands. I have not soaked them in water or nothing. I have not done any of that. I just straight up just decided to. <laughs> Look at that. Every bit of it. Every bit of that came up. So we're going to do another one. I like getting over as far to the edge as I can. Um, I don't want to have to go back and scrape little pieces. I think I might have to on this one though. It's not cooperating with me. Um, but these Bond Time polishes just really, that's surprising. I, I've, uh, I've got nothing but good things to say about that. I am being very careful because um, I don't want to pull up any of my nail with it. That one popped off just great, so there we go. I mean, wow. It does look like it might have pulled up on my nail just a smidge, or maybe that's base coat. I'm not 100% sure. And now I'm going to try to get it off of this poly gel nail because I need to do some looking at that. Um, it's. The poly gel nail has been on for at least two weeks. Now, it does seem to be tougher to get off of there, but you know, maybe it's just because it's a different kind of surface that it's sticking to. But I need to check out this poly gel because I've, I've, I'm thinking I might need to redo it also while I'm playing nails today because um, it's grown out some and you can see there's a gap back here this is as thick as the rest of the nail so next time I'm going to try to thin that area down some I've got a little bit of lifting going on over here and over here so we're gonna have to give that a a looky see yeah this is a little tougher to get off this nail than on my natural nails There we go. Get it going and get it to peeling. Look at there. Okay, so I got it going and peeling. And, uh, whew, got that off. But I do think I am going to redo my, because you know, I did this as an extension over my nub. Um, but it's, I've got some, and I think with, with more practice with this poly gel, I'll be able to, you know, get that get that application on there a little better. Like I said, I definitely want to go thinner back here on this end next time and see if that makes a difference. But that's, like I said, that's been on there for two weeks, at least two weeks. It might have even been longer than that, two and a half weeks. I don't know. Um, I didn't mark my calendar and I really should do that when I do these sorts of things. But 
my concern is with this being so thick, I'm worried about water getting up behind here and getting up under that nail and causing some issues. Yeah, so you can see that's coming up. So, uh, there we go. I'm going to, um, and I probably shouldn't have done that. I'm going to go get this removed and, uh, you know, I'm going to use my e-file and, um, would love to show that, but the e-file is quite dusty and until I get a, um, they, they've got these like dust collectors that sit up under you when you do them. And until I get one of those, I don't want to be, you know, putting that stuff up on my camera and flinging all that dust up here. But I did want to give you an update on my poly gel wear. Very, very pleased with that, by the way. Very happy with it. It's, it's amazing how natural it feels. And also, you know, the bond time, it, it would have worn quite a bit longer than, <laughs> than what I could stand. I'm quite sure it would have gone for several more days. There's that one with the 3D nail art on it coming off. We gotta get that off there. And surprisingly, that didn't drive me crazy wearing it. <laughs> so there we go. I just uh, wanted to give y'all a quick update on all of that. And I hope that you enjoyed this or got something out of it. And uh, I'm gonna finish this up and record another manicure. And I wanna thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.